What up, sweet gang? It's your girl Rochelle in the building coming to you with another live video. Another live tutorial. Let's get it. Let's go. Good evening. Y'all ready for another live tutorial? Ro in here coming to give you life. We're trying to give you life all the way up until Valentine's Day. Giving you some ideas that you can share for yourself. Hey. Hey, from NYC. I love your work. All the way from BMT. Hello. <laughs> Give me life, please. Well, I already got the candy mixture already going. Doing the second of the time of the video. Don't want it to be long and drawn out. This is a live video, and I know people will be re-watching. So I welcome you to Your Sweet Connection. Those that are live, those that will be watching this video, I welcome you. And if you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that notification bell to let you know your girl row is on. And we're going to get right into it. I got my already clean apples. For any other supplies, I will put them in the description box below. Give me time to put them in there because this is a live session. And it takes a minute for me to... Link up, link this, pull up, link that to put it up in the description box that will be up under this video. For any previous videos that I have done pertaining to my candy recipe, please visit those videos. I will have the links in the description box below. This is a half mixture that I am doing. Two cups of sugar, a half cup of water, and a half cup of light corn syrup. okay and it's still going and it's almost done all right i got my candy thermometer over here so i'm just gonna go ahead and put my apple sticks which i'll be using a 5.5 by 5.0 that's 5.5 in length and 5.0 in width all right let me get another apple. Cleaning process of my apples is the boiling method, six to 10 seconds. I will definitely leave that link in the description box below for those that's new to my channel. But just inserting uh, my apple stick, I wanna make sure they're upright. I finally press down. Okay, I'm going to dip a couple of them. Piercing right in, not all the way. So it won't touch or go through the apple. Taking these paper straws. These straws only fits over these particular size sticks. Okay. They're not your average size stick that you go get from Walmart. But um, where you can order these from, I will put in description box as well. Okay? You want to make sure you shake it a little bit before it goes into that candy mixture. Because you do not want it to fall into the mixture and you get a third degree burn. We play it safe around these parts. Okay? And we are almost at 300 degrees. And we're doing red, red, red by Chef Masters. It's a super red. It's a liquid gel food coloring. I'm also going to add in some flavor.
thermometer doing a little gangsta lean there. The flavor I'm going to be using is a Loran oil flavoring. And I'm going to use Fruit Punch. Now remember, this is a candy mixture. I am going to use just half of this little dram here. Okay, if you choose to use the whole dram, that's totally up to you. All right. And if it starts bubbling up, that's fine. It's just soaking on in there. And always remember, before you get ready to dip, make sure you clean and dry around your apples to make sure after you insert them, the sticks in them, that is no juice sitting up there because you could, you know, get a bubble up there. And if you do, you know, that's because you didn't wipe or some juice from the piercing of the stick and straw. You know, could have left that sitting up there and then you have a bubble. So make sure that's dry around your stem of the stick. All right. So we are ready. We're going to remove this. Okay. You want to make sure you put your thermometer in a cup of uh, water to make sure you get that candy mixture off. We're going to take our super red, shake it up a little bit, and just apply a few drops in here. Now let's do some measuring. How about that? And it's only going to take a few drops. So let's add in a half of... Maybe it's going to be... Uh, this is about a half tablespoon of coloring. That I'm adding in here. Remember, I told y'all I'm gonna start measuring out for you all. But this is a super red. And if I have to add more, then I will add more. This is what you call a transparent color. And what you will have to do is add white, a liquid gel white, full coloring, just a few drops to bring out the color. One, two. You want to mix that up in there really good. Really, really good. Now this is a super red. Okay, it always depends on the color that you use. You may not have to add so much. So if I wanted to light up this super red, probably would have did probably um, a half, probably one teaspoon of coloring. But it is a super red, okay. I'm going to add two more drops of white. Well, that's enough right there. Okay, if you add too much more, it definitely will thicken up. And then it'll be a problem for you to add, to, to get your apple in there. And then it'll be a hot mess. Okay. But I love this super red, but this is good for valentine's day 
And now we're going to do some major dipping. Okay, y'all like that color? Now that it's mixed on in there, get ready to dip. Right at the corner of your pot, make sure they don't spill over. And just do a nice rotating turn. that off of there. I meant caramel. No, just not caramel. And it is a little, a little thick. Just do a nice rotating turn. Thank you. Let that drizzle off of there. And I always like to scrape the side of my pot to complete and get a good finish. I'm going to set this over here and dip this last one. Can we get it? Yep. So using this super red, I would probably do uh, one, one teaspoon of coloring if you want to measure. If you're used to just adding the drops, go ahead and add the drops. I know some of uh, my uh, subscribers would want some measurements. So I've been trying to get that done lately. So that it can help better help you with your measuring and also not wasting any product. With me, I still add drops. I'm going to sit that right there. How you clean out your pot, you just want to fill this up with water. Fill this up with water over the candy mixture. Let it boil out. You must watch this. So that it don't overflow onto your stove. And then once it becomes liquefied, then you can pour it out in your sink. But it has to be clear. It has to be boiled all the way out before you pour it out. All right? Then I'll show you these beautiful apples. Just want to show y'all. How I pour water right on over that and I can just boil it just like that it will boil up so you want to be careful when you clean out your pot so you want to let them sit make sure that they are completely dry they still warm to touch I wouldn't bag them right away before you bag them let them cool down a little bit before you bag or box them, um, whatever you choose, however you choose. And there, I picked up something. There you go, beautiful red. Hope y'all can see that.
Yeah, one coat. No, no, no two coat. And it, it not even that much coloring. I put, it was about almost a table, wait, no. This was a half a tablespoon. So I would definitely put one, one, um, one teaspoon and that's for only this particular coloring because it's a strong color it's a super red super red super red super red okay now there's one great thing that you can do with chocolate and candy you can put chocolate coloring onto a candy apple. You can drizzle. You can add hearts. You can add bows. You can do sand and sugar. what I'm going to do is add to a piping bag. Okay. It's just a standard size 12 inch long piping bag. I'm going to take a few candy milk. Add them to my piping bag. And I'm going to melt it in the microwave. Okay. When I melt it in the microwave, this is just another quick technique that you can do um, instead of melting the chocolate in the jar. Okay. You don't want to close it all the way up. You don't want to cut it yet. But you can melt this in a microwave and you can start off melting it for 20 seconds. I'm sorry if I was too close. Okay. So candy melts are in the piping bag and melt it for 20 seconds. Y'all having fun? Y'all loving this? All right, all right, all right. I've been teaching every day, y'all. So I'm trying to come and, um, and give y'all life as well. Not neglect y'all. My students been getting all my time but if you like to join my valentine workshop you can do so it's only twenty five dollars twenty five dollars and you get life for sure sorry about that so this is the first 20 seconds and you want to just take the candy melts and just you know, work it around in the bag so that you can melt majority of what's in here. If, if it's not, then just put it back in for another 10 to 15 seconds. Remember, it's a small amount. You don't want to do a 30 second um, interval because you may burn the chocolate on the inside. How you would know if it becomes gritty, then you probably don't burn your um candy milk so i'll put this back in for about 10 seconds hey tanya boo all right once it come out again just Work that chocolate around. Chocolate candy melts. Candy melts. Hey, Michelle, how are you? Let this go in here for another five seconds. 
long as you cut down the time like you don't do a full length of time you good with that just don't burn it just don't burn it watch it don't burn it okay I'm good with this. I just gotta find a rubber band. I'm gonna just tie it. Okay, so we all melted. So I'm gonna pull this down. I'm gonna tie this off. Okay. Okay, tie it off. Get my scissors here. You want to pull back from the tip. All right. Get you a container here just to put the chocolate in or parchment paper start off small with a small cut and just test the drizzle first and if you get bags like this just cut down on the side just a little bit so that won't get in the way because it do tend to get in the way so what i'm doing is testing my drizzle if i'm good with that then i'll i'll, I'll, I'll flow with it but if you want to take it up a little higher or a little bigger, just be careful not to go too big and just cut another small amount off of there. Do a pre-drizzle. Make sure you got an even flow and you're ready to go. All right. Lay a piece of film on the Let me move this out the way. Move that back here. All right, taking your apple. Okay, pre-drizzle, make sure it's not too hot, because if it's too hot, it'll slide down the apple. I think that was, I gotta remember which one. Oop, this, no, nope, it's still a little warm. Still a little warm. I'll go with this one. Okay, if it's too hot, it's definitely going to slide. The chocolate is going to slide off the apple. Okay. So you want it to be um, cool before you drizzle. But start with a pre-drizzle. Squeeze the bag. Go across. Come back. Go across. Come back. Flip it over. Go across. Come back. Go across. Come back. You want to fix that. Just go back over that way. Okay. If it's still wet, I'm sure it's still wet. <laughs> it's going to take a minute for the chocolate to dry onto your apple. You want to take some sprinkles. They got to hit them while it's wet. And your focus is to get these sprinkles on the lines. Trying to catch it before it dry up. And I'm getting sprinkles everywhere. It's all right. Now, they won't stick to the apple per se because the apple 
is dry, but they will stick to the lines so it can define just the sprinkles onto the lines. Okay. We'll do one more. Add them sprinkles. Now you don't want your sprinkles to go all over the place like mine is doing. I'm just doing this for the sake of the time of the video. For y'all, but make sure you have something to collect it with. These are pretty much smaller and don't have all the dranges, which the dranges is the little balls. Okay. These is nothing but hearts. Whatever design you choose to put on your apple, be creative. Have fun with it. Make a mess like me. Hey, it's cleanable. Pretty red up. Pretty red, pretty red. Now, how you like them apples? Mm. Now, I'm going to use this little mold. It says love. Love, love, love. Love thy neighbor and yourself. Find it I'm using is by Fat Daddy O's Pro Series. Bright white. And my little Ateco scraper here to help get some of that extra off the mold. And what I'm going to be doing is applying it to The candy apple okay it ain't gonna take much if you need to add some uh, tylose or some CMC powder just to thicken it up you can do so um, it just helps stiff stiffen your mold but if you don't need to I actually got this mold today but if you don't need to you you don't have to depending on the pieces that you're using or uh, trying to achieve. Take that down. Just roll that a little bit. Okay. Pinch some of that extra off. These not going to nobody, so. Don't kill me if I ain't got no gloves on.
Now, there's also another way that you can pop these out nice and firm just so that it won't um, bend or tear, which this it could. Pop it in the freezer for a few minutes and it'll pop out good. So, I'm going to stick it in the freezer right quick and, ask, and let y'all have the flow for a few questions. Alrighty. Hey, y'all. Any questions? Thank you, TM. What's the TM? What's the, what do the TM stand for? Thank you. You missed the beginning. Where did you get the mold from and how much? I think the mold was like 6 or $7, but um, I got the mold. Oh, Lord. I got a card all filled with candy. From Lolly Cakes by Ella. Ella, Ella. She's on Instagram. Lolly Cakes by Ella. And if you go to her Instagram, I will leave her link in the description box as well. But um, she has a lot of molds. Um, also, uh, the Super Shine by poppy paint she sells that as well so you want to check out her instagram just go right over to lolly cakes on instagram that's her ig Ooh, i can't read that that fast i need to make a rainbow candy. i separated the sugar oh that was quick you might want to uh put that in the comment section <laughs> so i can read it because it goes it goes quickly Hey, Cynthia. We were helping some of the ladies while you work. Oh, thank you. Where did you purchase the love mold? Uh, Lolly Cakes by Ella. I just got it today. Came in the mail today. I am going to continue following you, Ro. Thank you, Monique. I appreciate the love and support. Check me out on Instagram and my business page your sweet connection as well on instagram is um my sweet connect i think <laughs> I, I forget my instagram <sighs> but all my information will be in the description box below go check me out charge it to my head not my heart Let's see what NC Honey 36 say. I am just mesmerized by your work. I want to do what you do so bad. Awesome. Honey, you can. Put your mind to it. You can do it. Don't say what you can't do. It's levels to this. You know what I'm saying? I started off with no help. And I've been going ever since. You know, I've been inspired by so many people. That's what we do. We be inspired by others and we strive. You got to strive to just push and push and push your way through and you can do it. It just takes practice. I tell everybody to follow the four P's. My four P's is you must pray over everything that you do or getting ready to do. You got to have patience when doing this. It's just not going to happen overnight. All right. Tim. There go Tim. Um. Uh, you got to have patience and let this stuff work for you, okay? Patience and practice works together. You got to practice and have patience in doing this as you done prayed over this, but you also got to trust the process. Oh, it ain't even five Ps no more. It's five. <laughs> the five Ps. Prayer, practice, be persistent, trust the process, Okay, 
Definitely have patience. Prayer, patience, process, persistence. Okay. I forgot the other P. DBD in the house. Hey, Mo it's, it is Monica. Trust the process, y'all. I know it's pain in the process. It's always pain in the process. But you have to stay focused at what you want to do. And everything um, that you set your, set your mind to doing, just do it. Just because somebody else do it, doing it and maybe doing it better than you, don't mean you cannot do it. All right? I'm still practicing every day to perfect my gift every day to bring y'all love encouragement every day so you just can't just say oh i tried it and you give up no it's levels to this it's work behind this where do i purchase the coloring for the apple oh you can go on Whew. you can order it from amazon I'll leave a link in the description box, but you can go to Amazon and order the Chef Masters Super Red Liquid Gel Food Coloring. Make sure it's super red, not red, but super red. There's a difference in the coloring when they do come out like that. So, um, just like with these pinks, you know, I, I always prefer Chef Masters. I love using them. You got a rose pink and you got a baker's rose, okay? I like rose pink. You know, this may come off a little light. This come off a little lighter. But it also depends on how you use the color. All right, let me get the mold. It'll take but a few minutes for it to firm up and pop out. Okay, it's still going to be soft, but it helps when it pops out. Love. And we're going to add some little gold to that love letter. This love. This love right here. So when you do these, you just be creative. Anything will come to my mind. And I just, you know, add to... To what it is so that it'll be nice and beautiful and unique now I always keep this cup because when the when it evaporates it's still going to a powder if you shake it um, but you can use lemon extract or um, vodka and this is a highlighter dust that I'm using. Um, I have Rokum. So I'm just going to add just a little bit more. It don't take much. I'm actually going to take my brush, dip some in there. Just get a few generous amounts and add. You don't want to fill the cup up. You just want to fill a few drops so that it will go into um, just the corner or that it takes up majority of the powder here. And if it becomes into a paste, just add a little bit more vodka or lemon extract. No, they won't be able to taste the liquor. You don't want to add too much because it'll take you want to you want the gold to shine and and just pop out. So I'm actually going to just outline. I'm looking for a different brush. Okay, this is a little smaller 
brush than this one because what I want to do is outline just the facing of the love. You see here? It got like a little 3D, 3D effect. Coating the brush. And just lightly outline the love part. Got to get more, get more. And just lightly outline it. not to rush it but just be careful you know put some love into it And you just, once you finish, you just let this dry, completely dry, before you add it to your apple. Okay, go back over any spots that you probably need to be filled in. Have a nice clean look. And how you would apply it to, you definitely will have to let this dry. But um, I'm definitely going to let it dry because it is um, a little weak. But I will post the picture. You'll see it on my thumbnail. So, that's it. Just add a small, generous amount to the uh, uh, dust that you just add to any of your creations that you have. All right? So stay tuned, everyone. I love y'all. Y'all be blessed. See y'all later.